called Herford, 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 Herford. Herford, her boyfriend? Yes. She's had him for years. Oh. I, I suppose he's had her as well. <laughs> You'd never have thought it. She looks such a quiet little woman in that hat. And they're the worst. Yes, I know. Mind, mind you, you see, I should have known it all along because she never did or did buy any. Buy any what? She never once ever bought one single packet of her for pig biscuits. <laughs> which, at uh, today's reduced prices, they represent a most economical supplement to the householder diet. Fig biscuits? Yes, the very same. The chaste housewife's indicator there for fig biscuit. What's so special about fig biscuits? Oh, and uh, nothing that a customer would spot, of course. No, it takes a lifetime of a shopkeeping nouse to spot a connection like that. A connection like what? Well, the, the fig connection. The connection between a fig biscuit and honourable womanhood. Don't ask me to explain it, Mrs Blewett, but all I can say is this. You show me a grocery list without a fig biscuit and I will show you a housewife of their doubtful moral rectitude. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a, a, a packet of bleach and a tin of polish. Yeah, and a packet of fig biscuits. And, uh, <laughs> and a fig biscuit. There we are, Mrs Blewett. Thank you very much. Uh. Good day. Don't come too close, Arkwright. This time of the morning, I bruise easy. Nurse Gladys Emanuel, for whom I have only the gentlest of intentions. The only time you go gentle is when you're spending anything. I'm going to work. Oh, I hate this. Think where these hands will have been by the time they get back here. Listen, if you're going to grab me, you better do it now while your fingers are still fresh. <laughs> to the way, you silly beggar. You get worse. Allow me to assist you into your vehicle. No, thank you. Oh, go on, Gladys. Let me give you a helping hand where I need it most. You'll do nothing of the kind. Clear off. <laughs> Listen, if, you, if you're going to handle anything nasty, uh, put your gloves on. <laughs> this shop bike's useless. It's totally clapped out. Oh, you're ju just like your mother, always uh, striving for perfection. Yeah, he's a hell of a rattle down here. Yeah, uh, such was her reputation, I believe, at the height, <laughs> of, her, uh, the height of her creative period, yes. That's a nice thing to say about your own sister. No, half-sister, a half-sister. We never did find out which half, actually. Because <laughs> my father married again, you see. He never got anything right the first time. <laughs> You're going to have to get this damn bike fixed. Oh, just uh, uh, jiggle it a bit. Yeah, I spend half my life just j -j jiggling it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother was were wild and rebellious and all, yeah. Eh. I can't even remember what she looked like. Oh, big, beautiful, your mother was, and buxom. Uh, oh, yeah. You must take after your father. Really? What was he like? Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get these orders round, and then don't take all day about it. <laughs> Do you reckon he was Hungarian? I mean, she must have loved him, mustn't she, to have kept his identity secret like she did. Perhaps she couldn't pronounce it. Yeah. Just think, if she hadn't have met him, I wouldn't have been here. You're not supposed to be here now. You're supposed to be out <laughs> doing it. <laughs> no, it makes you think, though, doesn't it, eh? I mean, what a narrow line there is between who gets born and who doesn't get born. Just think, I could have been one of the nameless unborn. <laughs> Don't worry, I would have thought of something to call you. <laughs> Stupid young twonk. <laughs> Just so, some Hungarian.
have a tin of uh, soup? One tin of soup, my Mavis, thank you. A large or small? Large. <laughs> no small. <laughs> Oxtail? Mully got a term, my mully. My mully got a term, my mully got a term. My mully got a term. Oxtail. Oxtail. No, I better take tomato. Tomato? Yes. Unless you've got. <laughs> Scotch broth? Scotch broth, maybe. That, that's very exotic. No, I, I haven't got a small tin. I'll only have a large tin. Oh. Well, I, I can't cut them in half, maybe. <laughs> It all for flops out, you see. <laughs> I'll tell you what I will do. I'll sell you one large tin and I'll only charge you for the two small tins. Oh, thank you, Mr. <laughs> I don't know whether I ought to take a tin of luncheon meat. <sighs> Is it on your list? Yes. <laughs> I crossed it out. Times, Mr. Arkwright. <laughs> we really ought to try our some of our new inspirational <laughs> toilet. <laughs> I feed you and clothe you, don't I? Yeah, send me out dressed like this on an antique shop boy. Oh, I take a grand little machine, is that? It doesn't do much my sporting image, though, does it? Eh? Other people my age have little sports cars. Listen, a little sport. <laughs> you did damage to that of a van driver with your bike, didn't you? Yeah, well, you don't care about me. You go too, too fast on that my bike, Granville. The only excitement I get in my life is a little bit of speed. If I hadn't been there, you'd have been savaged by an inspirational toilet roll owner, wouldn't you, eh? <laughs> a, a thought for the day on every leaf. Oh, I bet he was having a few thoughts for the day himself. You know I had to abide a two dozen of these that could cool him down. What am I going to do with a two dozen inspirational toilet rolls? And I don't... <laughs> I don't want any earthy suggestions from you, Cinderella. Come on, get that wood down the cellar or you'll never go to the ball. Go on. <laughs> I have to open the trap. I've got my hands full. You've got your hands full. I've got my hands full with you as a speed-crazed Hungarian like you. Come on. There's no variety in my life. Look, you're going down the cellar. How much excitement do you want in a day? <laughs> I don't know why we ever got rid of the van. You do know why we got rid of the van. Yes, I know why, because you couldn't get to sleep every time they put the price of petrol up. Anyway, if I'm going to have to keep riding that shop bike, I'm going to get it done up. I'm going to get myself a few accessories, that's what I'm going to get. Oh. Listen, clear that cellar out while you're down there, will you? And if you find a rusty old lamp, for God's sake, don't rub it. <laughs> Hello, Mavis, back again. On second thoughts, Mr. Artwright, I think I'll take the other brand. Are you sure, Mavis? Yes, I made me mind up. <laughs> 